I didn't turn my mic on. Hello, everybody in the world. This is Wednesday, my guys. Ooh. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Thank you for delivering that wonderful, wonderful uh, meme. I like it. So, welcome. Yes, welcome to October 7th, 2020. It uh, feels like I should be 30 years older the way this week is going. But uh, we, I... I teased in the Facebook group that there could be something going on today that would be a little bit exciting. Well, guess what, my friends? It's going to happen right off the bat. If you are in the chat right now at the beginning of the show, you got a chance to win another free game here. I am giveaway right off the fucking bat here. So we are going to create a giveaway. The hashtag is going to be hashtag I was there. It does. All right. Hashtag I was there. I'll announce it as soon as it starts. Create. All right. Giveaways open. Hashtag I was there. That'll enter you in. Jakob, you have to do it again. It did not enter you yet. You you jumped the gun and I did not turn on your microphone. Now you guys can hear Christian. Oh, dang. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, what's going on? As I was saying, it helps to be punctual in this case. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, Jakob, you right. might want to do it again, though. Yeah, Yaka, make sure you type that again. It didn't catch it up. Uh, it is likely case sensitive. It is capital I. Capital I. Oh, there was a 30-second freeze. All right, I got you, man. Oh, man. Gotcha. Got you. I hope I didn't just add myself in here. Uh, oh, man. That's fine. I can fix it if it is. So, while well, people are entering the raffle, how are you, Christian? How was your day? Oh, uh, man. I went shopping. It's my girlfriend's birthday this Saturday. I can't wait. It's going to oh, be very fun. Cool. Very, very cool. I got her gift and everything. So, like, that's what I did today. Nice. I was walking around Woodfield Mall, and, like went store hopping to see what she would like. And well, what'd you end up? Uh, what'd you end up getting? Yeah. You know, or oh, do you not want to? Do you not want to spoil it? Uh, she the, the, the she doesn't watch this anyway. Uh, she's at wow. work. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> she's at work, so that's why. Uh, I got her some pop figures, some anime stuff. Okay. Stuff she likes. Stuff That's she awesome. Likes. That's very cool. All right. So there's a lot of stuff happening in the background. We got the debate going on. Yeah. Uh, that's why. That's why today. we were a little bit uh, slow. Let me see here. Sorry. Give me one second. Let me check the giveaways. Uh, we do have three entries in. So it looks like you guys are entered now. So thank you. Let me manage that. We're going to wait another about minute or two to see if anybody else is going to join late here. I uh, see you... five people in the five people watching. And... Yeah. Uh, you will notice that we do have a new video playing for us right now. That is one of my old shantytown videos. That's a uh, yes. fun, a fun and uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's a, Good that map. was a fun session. That was a great map. Good map. Yeah, I love this. Is actually one of the fun, more the better games that I had. The more better games I played. I don't know how to speak English. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, by the way, uh, for the people that are in the chat, uh, Mr. Thermit, you did win the one last week. Did you and were you able to redeem that at the other location? It, I would like to know. I believe it should work because it's just a free game code, so it's no worse than anything else. You well, are right. I am going to give right. my update for the week. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. I also did a lot of work. We stayed home last weekend, did nothing, which was super fantastic. Um, we did some 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 homebody stuff. We built a bar. So now I have a bar in my house. I don't have to go out anymore to go drinking. Yeah. Um, what else did we do? We did um, some video gaming. We played some more Among Us. Oh, I am programming a bot for the channel uh, that is going to be able to store our Among Us servers. 
so that when we're playing and people jump in and they're like, hey, is there a room? We can just be like, type a command and then it'll give you the channel. Because, uh, you know, when you play Among Us, it's hard to watch Discord at the same time. Um, Outside of that, I mean, it was a pretty Valid. tame week. Pretty tame week. All right, I think we're out of people that are going to be entering here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the draw entrant. Thank oh, yeah, you guys. I went to Waukesha. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, you did? Cool. Yeah, I mean, me, uh, Levi, and Al went up there. Okay. Very cool. Let me pop out my chat so I can see everybody talking here. Practice for the tournament. Yeah, we are going to go over that tournament a little bit later in the show, how to sign up for it, because I think there's some people that might be having some trouble. Oh. All right, it's time to pick that winner. So let me get that up here. All right, guys, last five seconds. If you see, if you see the beefy bird, it's too late. You can't enter anymore. Yeah, the beefy bird. The bird flexing. Oh, there it is. All there right. it is. And we are going to pick our entrant. Oh, didn't I do this last week? Where I showed the winner. How did I do this? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Hold on. Let me. Uh, um, uh, uh, let me. Let me just do this. We, we're gonna. We got this, guys. We got this. We'll do we, this. We oh, that didn't do it. Oh, did it do it? Nope, didn't do it. I didn't oh, see no. it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. Oh, oh God, what did I do? I think I broke oh, the whole man. thing. All right, never mind. We're going to hide that again. Ooh, that was scary. Oh. All right, whatever. You're going to have to take my... Here, we'll just do this. We'll turn my webcam yeah. around. <laughs> all right, guys. Six total entries, three unique, which means you guys are all subbed, which is great. We're going to draw entrant, which is that button right there. And the winner is going to be... Jakob. Yakub. Congratulations, my friend. Yakub. I am going to announce you as the winner. I'm going to show the information. That way I can message you. Go ahead and send me a direct message on Twitch, and I will get you your free game code. Congratulations, my friend. And congrats, my dude. You deserve it. Oh, it's Jar? <laughs> yeah, it's Jar. Jar. All right, I got my Twitch open, so go ahead and just send me a DM if you could. Um, I got some show stuff to do, so as soon as I see that, I will get that code to you. All right, so we've got a show today. It's going to be a full show. Uh, we're going to go over our top tens, and then we're going to hit um, announcements for the tournament. We're going to mm -hmm. do a quick discussion of stuff in the community uh, oh, a yes, little bit we are a little bit more of a talk on where we're going to be going as a podcast um spoiler we're not going anywhere we're going to continue doing this we just really got to figure out some topics because it's we been just, yeah like without being able to play all the time it's a little bit rough but we'll get there we'll figure stuff out to talk about uh and then afterwards as we've done the last three weeks we're going to do some among us so stick around for that uh, go ahead and join the Discord server if you haven't already. There's already some people that are filtering into the Among Us channel, so that's where we will start playing that. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. We are going to... Where is that? Turn off the video. Hold on, I've 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 shrunk. There it is. Turn that off. Oh wait, I have buttons for this. What am I doing, man? Scenes. Turn off the video. All right, there's our first top ten. Uh, Christian, I'm going to lean on you heavily for this. Okay. Oh yeah, sure thing, man. So uh, so you do this. I'm going to get the tutorial for signing up ready. And uh, then it, as soon as you're done, make a noise or something, and I'll play the sound bite, and we'll get to the next one. All right. It just showed up on my screen. All right, cool. Beautiful. And that says Waukesha, right? Yeah, that says Waukesha. That's Waukesha, All right, yeah. Cool. All right, guys. So kicking it off, number 10 of our top 10, we got cheese curds with a score of 12K and a KD of 1.98. And then at number 9, we have Old Man Gilly with also 12K. Ooh, 
12,137 with a KD of 1.38. Then number eight, we have Levi Ackerman with a score of 14K and a KD of 2.11. Number seven, we have Raining with a score of 16K and a KD of 1.38. And at number six, we have the Owl with 200 with sorry with 18k and a kd of 1.80 and then number five we have rainer braun that freaking loser with 20k points and a kd of 1.81 nice and at number four we have unicorn rage with 22k and a kd of 1.82 and then number three, we have the Seal with 23K and a KD of 2.39. And then number two, we have Jabe Woodland with a score of 31K and a KD of 1.87. And at number one for Waukesha this week, we have Sniper 17 with a score of 35K and a KD of 2.05. Way to go, Waukesha. Keep playing. Thank you for being open, letting us play there and everything. All right. So who's going to be our next, guys? Who's gonna be next? <laughs> oh, I got a sound bite. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have a sound bite. There it is. That's a good sound bite. All right. Take that off there. All right. Your next one is going to be Michigan Eye Combat. Michigan. All right. All right. And then now for Michigan. All right. So number 10 for Michigan is, is that, that I want to say that's Kid Bravo with 13K points and a KD of 4.13. Already a high KD right off the bat. And then number nine, we have Thermit the Frog with 14K, 14K points and a KD of 3.47. And then at number eight, we have Mirage 1 with 15K points and a KD of 1.29. 1.29, yeah, yeah, I got it right. Oh, thank goodness. And at number seven, we got Topher Dude with 17K points and a KD of 2.32. And at number six, we have Snake23 with 29k points and a KD of 2.56. And then at number five, we have Mr. Mayhem with a score of 35k and a KD of 3.88. At number four, we have number one himself, Meth Morrow, with 42k points and a KD of 9.43. This guy cannot die. And then at number three, we have Dark Sniper, also known as Meth's uh, uh, Smurf account, at 49k and a KD of 8.11. And then at number two, we have Late Apex with 76k points and a KD of 3.78. And at number one, we have Key at 80k points and a KD of 4.20. Good job, guys. Uh, lots of high scores this week. Y'all need to take a week break, I swear. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Uh, next one coming up for you is 18 North Central. All right. Sweet. All right. I got this. And then at for number 10 of 18 North Central, we have, uh, I'm assuming, oh, that's Special K. Special K, oh. 01, I'm just going to say 01, with 6K, 6K points, a little bit shy of 7K, with a KD of 1.68. And at number 9, we have... Ah, that's funny. We have insert name with 7K, 7K, 7,100 points and a KD of 1.20. And then at number 8, we have... The, uh, does that say Jen? Oh, I'm going to say Jen. That says Jen. With, yeah, that's Jen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Jen with seven seven thousand one hundred and sixty seven points and a KD of one point one eight. And then at number seven we have Tommy with seven thousand four hundred and seventy two seventy two points. Ah, sorry, with a KD of four point one three. 
It's a really good KD. Absolutely. And then at number six, we have Speedy with 7,891 points and a KD of 1.82. And then at number five, we have Illinois Boy with 8K points and a KD of 1.39. At number four, we have Ghost Alpha One with 11k points and the highest KD for the map with a 5.23. And at number three, we have Eeks with 12k points and 1.61 is your KDR. And then at number two is El Pork, <laughs> funny El Pork Chapo with 14k points and a KD of 2.40. And at number one for 18, North Central is Be Ready with 15K points and a KD of 2.40 also. Good job, guys. Good scores. Keep working at it. Work hard. You'll get there. Awesome. Well, the randomizer gave it the same meme, so. All Uh, right. We're moving on to the next one. I got this one. You can take a break here. I'm done setting up my next section. So we have... Bullseye laser tag, and in Woo! 10th place, we've got Blue Jay at 4,800 points with a 3.2 KDR. Ninth place is Guido, 4,900 points, KDR of 166. Eighth place is Businessman Zombie, coming in with that suit at 5,000 points. 207 KDR, seventh place is Trills, 5,400 points, KDR of 177. In sixth place, we got Zetton with 5,600 points, KDR of 2.2. Fifth place is Shiro San with 5,900 points and a KDR of 241. Fourth place is B. Margiles. Gargaluis? Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, 7,500 points, however, and a KDR of 459. Good golly, Miss Molly, that man knows how to shoot. And or woman, that person, that human ooh, being ooh. knows how to shoot. Uh, third place, we got Ebag. Uh, that is one further down the letter from the D bag. Uh, that is 10,000 yeah. points there with a KDR of 241. Second place is the Bullseye Boss Man, 11,000 points and a KDR of 345. And unseating him for the first time in a while is a Beautiful Bro with 25,000 points and a KDR of 317. Congratulations. I think, Chris, I think you're at kills for a minute. I am reading kills per minute. It did get cut off. Oh, it didn't get cut off. I just don't know how to read. So ignore all of those KDRs and just read the number next to it. If you're a computer science guy, you know what happens all the time. And I got the bruh meme, so perfect timing. I appreciate that. (laughs) All right, moving on to the all location top 10. We got some surprises in here this week. Oh, man, dude. So I was looking at this and I was like, dang, these people be playing a lot, man. I wish we could just like get our shit in control so we could open our businesses. But anyways, uh, 10th place is Spicy Flamingo from Western Australia, 44,000 points. Ninth place is Snickers from Dubai, 45,000 points. Eighth place was Dark Sniper from Rochester, 49,000 points. Seventh place was Tsunami, with a very cute way of spelling that. Uh, that is from Western Australia, 49,000 points. Sixth place is Halm from Dubai with 49,000 points. Fifth place is Savage Ace from Dubai, 66,000 points. In fourth place, Late Apex, Rochester, 75,000 points. Third place is Key from Rochester with 80,000 points. Second place is Thabit from Western Australia, 84,000 points. And first place for the week comes from Dubai and Deadpool, 111,000 points on the week. Congratulations to our international champion for the week. I am sure meth will hunt you down and get you next week, but he literally made. Apparently the FBI wants to open up on that one. Seven days. Yeah. Seven days. Oh man. Seven days, my guy. Wow. Yeah, one one full rotation of a gear swap show, and he put up 111,000 points. He's probably watching. He might be watching. I hope he is. Deadpool, if you're watching, you probably speak English. I don't speak 
Arabic? Is that what they speak there? I have no idea. I'm not. I'm no help here. I am no help here. <laughs> Are you looking it up? <laughs> yep. Yep. Nice. Right. Arabic. Correct. Arabic. I am not. I am not a filthy American that doesn't know things. I'm cultured. Damn it. Congratulations to everybody that made the top 10 this week. It will refresh next week. And we will continue on because that is what we do. So now what we're going to do, speaking of doing things. Don't you have a tutorial? We are going to do a tutorial. Uh, I have been asked by the illustrious sixes and sevens to remind everybody that signups for the tournament end next, not this, not this Saturday. They end next Saturday. That is the 16th. Checking. Next Friday, I apologize. Next Friday, they close. October 16th, registration will close for the tournament. I believe we're about quarter of the way full to having it start. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go through a tutorial on how to sign up. Where is my Chrome? There it is. Okay. The so when you log in, we're going to be looking down here, bottom left of your screen. You should be able to see my mouse. This is the barracks. I'm sure Bang. everyone that's watching is very familiar with this. What you may not be familiar with is how to find games that aren't at your location because it's a little tricky if you've never done it before. So I am going to log in. Am I going to log in? I'm not going to log in um, because I'm already signed up. So it'll look different for me than it does for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the top right. You're going to hit this reserve now button. At this point, it's going to ask you, hey, are you new or are you going to sign in? So if you're a regular person, you can go ahead and sign in. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign in under, I'm going to sign in under my old Bratz account. Because I know that's not registered to anything. Um, so what you're going to see here is you're going to see a window that's going to have your sessions for your location. Very simple. At the very top here, you're going to have location. You're going to click on that double arrow. That is going to give you the location indicator box. So you're going to click here and it's going to bring up all of the locations in the world. And what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down. Oh, it's not showing it because it's not grabbing overlaid windows. Uh, but you're going to find one that says Waukesha, Wisconsin. And then when you click on it, it will refresh to Waukesha's location. You're halfway there. Now what you need to do is you need to hit the next week button until you find the week of November. And the date is here. Okay. So you're looking for the week that's going to start with November 11th. Okay. The tournament is happening on Saturday. So you are going to click on the Saturday button. And then you are now looking at all of the sessions available for Waukesha. I don't know why my voice just cracked. But you're now looking at all of the sessions for Waukesha on uh, November 14th. And you're going to scroll down. And you're going to see the first annual North American Eye Combat Tournament. Now, this is the important part. You have to click on it. It is going to bring you to a screen that's going to say, Hey, what difficulty would you like to use? And we're going to go... Most people are probably going to click on Veteran. This account isn't leveled up enough, so we're going to click on Recruit. Now it's going to say, hey, cool, choose a group, put yourself in solo, it doesn't matter. By the way, congratulations to Nate, Feldark, Ashaway, Spartans, Man, Bratz, Powers, Reiner, and Frogchamp for successfully signing up to the tournament already. You guys are bosses and absolute monsters, and you're going to wreck it in this tournament. I hope you all win. It's impossible. Only five players can win. At this point, you click on solo and it's going to come to this window and it's going to say, hey, what membership would you like to use? Now, you'll notice if you come over here to Elite, Elite is a Midwestern deal uh, that's a bonus to XP and it gives you a cheaper entry rate. So if you do sign up as the Elite, you'll be paying $60 plus the $10 Elite membership. That is $70. If you don't want to get the elite membership, you can sign up for $75. There's a correct answer here. Say $5. Um, yeah. Say $5. Save. 
So when you click on this, I've already signed up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click here. It's going to ask you to enter up your credit card information. I am not going to sign up again. This one is going to be where it's on you. You need to fill out your credit card information and then you're going to create a membership to Waukesha. Now that membership, you can choose to end after you sign up. So it'll sign you up for the time period that you're registering and then it goes away because normally it's a recurring $10 charge. If you're not going to be playing in Waukesha, just don't put the charge on there. As a spoiler, if you sign up and want to pay $10 Elite, you will get the bonus XP at all the locations. I got it in Michigan. Yeah. So, just saying, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Catch up to Meth Morrow. Imagine if Meth Morrow had 15% extra XP on every single every... session he played. <laughs> that man would be up at like 11 oh. million right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Madness. The sheer audacity. But that is how you sign up. Once you do that, once you do this part, you will get a confirmation saying, hey, congratulations, you have signed up for the tournament. And then, to make very sure, I'm going to log back into my Pew Pew account. The you can screen. come back to your main screen, and then you will see over here in big letters, Woo. first annual tournament, and you will be completely signed up and ready to go. That is how you sign up. We love you guys. Go sign up for that tournament. We need... 32 more players in order to make sure it happens. I know there are a lot of people coming from out of state. Sign up still. Let us start researching. Let the people that are going to be captain start knowing who's going to be there so we can start fantasy drafting in our heads of who we might get. So it's important. All right. That is that on that. That is if you're thinking of being a captain. So. Yes. And I recommend people being captains. You want to have a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of say over your own um, destiny here. So I am going to turn off the Chrome browser. We're going to turn off the top 10. What happened to my iCombat videos? Is it just not working? Okay. Well, uh, Christian, I'm going to uh, yes. leave Hello. the show up to you for a minute so I can do some fixing here. Oh, man. All right, everyone. So... As I was thinking of topics, as always, to talk about on this show, because like we can't play in Chicago, because that went under. So And the building is... I don't know what process it's in, and it's demolishing, but I know for sure the Alcatraz field is down. And the number one thing I want to talk about in this podcast... Chris will talk about his after, but... Yes, yeah, go for so, it. Our funniest moment at iCombat. Oh, interesting. I like so, this. For me, for me specifically, it was a completely new person. He walks in. He says he didn't have time to change. He just came straight out of work. The dude has the gear on, headband on, holding the gun. And what's under all that equipment is a three-piece suit. That's the thing there. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible he, he's wearing a three two piece suit whatever you call it I think yeah. they come in both three and two pieces but this man had a three piece suit on that's wild you know how you're able to take off the blazer right <laughs> so he decides to go the entire hour session of yeah. game time with everything on didn't even take off the blazer didn't even take off like he could have taken off the blazer and left it in the locker. No, he left the blazer on. This dude. Bruh. Yeah, this, his friends are laughing at him. They're wearing gym clothes. They're wearing sweats. They're wearing stuff that's like, you know, you can like go to the gym in. And then this guy is cut. He's, he's drenched. He destroyed his suit. That's his wild. Suit was destroyed. I remember hearing about that, and I didn't believe it actually happened until I saw. I think someone took picture a picture of it. And I was like, like well, this guy. All right. Like, you're just standing there. You're staring at the picture, and you're just like, "Are yeah. you for real?" And then like, um, I have to say, one of my favorite moments is <laughs> it's happened a few times, and it's something stupid that I've done myself. Um, I was just watching the video. They're playing jailbreak, and the guy just went to shoot the bell. <laughs> ah! 
Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so dumb. Anyways, oh um, <laughs> so so we're playing, and it happens to me more than I care to admit. Where you get like so like hung up in the game, and you like you're playing, you're playing, you're playing, and your gun just stops working. You're just like, why is it not working? I don't understand. Why is this always broken? Hence the name of the podcast. Um, and multiple times I would run over to ice because in our field, you would never find team leaders on the field because <laughs> fuck doing your work. Right. Um, yeah, dude. Oh. and I would run over to ice. I'm like, my <laughs> gun is not shooting. And I'm like, why isn't it shooting? Mm. And, and more often than not, it was just somebody at ice. They would just like, look at me in deadpan and be like, brought your dead. I'm like, no, you're not hearing me. My gun isn't shooting. And then they revive <laughs> me and I like pull the trigger. I'm like, oh, you were dead, brats. Mm-hmm. Go back to base. You're fucking crazy. I'm like, oh, all right, guys. Sorry. You like you skulk <laughs> away and you're like, man, it sucked. Man, I just did that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Um, what are some other fun ones? Another funny uh, moment I had, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll say another one really quick. Cause it has also something to do with equipment. The first time I played in Waukesha, they still had the M4s. Um, and, uh, I'm standing outside the spawn waiting for a game to start. And then someone's like, Hey, brats, your gun looks like it's bro- broken. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's fine. And I pick it up and the gun literally just like came apart at the middle and like the circuit board was exposed, like the barrel was falling off, and I was like, I like turned to the team leader, and I'm like, because ah. I had never played with the M4 up until that point. I just gave it to him, like I didn't do this here, and he's like, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go get you a new gun. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. I like that play. <laughs> and... <laughs> Those are my two funniest moments, probably. Another funny moment is when both team leaders forgot to hide the bag for domestic threat. Brilliant. Yeah, so basically, one team leader, I'm not going to expose them right here. Uh, one Dude, team leader, expose them. They don't work there anymore. Oh, okay, fine. So Cornell didn't hide the bag. And then uh, Edward, was, Edward told his team that... <laughs> so they both told their team. Yeah. The other team was uh, hiding it? Yeah, they both told their team the other team was hiding it. <laughs> That's amazing. So then... And then the next... They didn't realize it, though, for the first game. The second game, <laughs> that's when both teams hid the bag at the same time. And then they didn't realize both teams were playing hard defense until, like, the la- until two, three minutes into the game. That's so funny. And then... Cornell, Cornell, Edward, and Kevin are arguing with each other. Like Kevin's like, Cornell, I told you to hide the bag first. Edward, you're supposed to hide the bag now. And then Cornell was like, No, you flipped it around. Edward's supposed to hide the bag right now. While my team, oh no, yeah, that stuff. You know, it just got really, really confusing. Right. It got. It just got to the point where both teams got their win, and the Delta stayed the same. So, <laughs> sure. But I guess we could do that. You could think of it that way, but in reality, no one was playing the game right. <laughs> wow, that's ridiculous. That's so funny, though. Like, uh, okay, so I have. Uh, I'm gonna read Jacobs. Jacobs in there. It's oh. Jar, by the way. Uh, he said he's gonna. He's going to the container from spawn. He made somebody jump, scream, grab their chest, and then slam into the back of the shipping container. Jesus. That, that is a terrifying <laughs> prospect because that's a long way to go from the door to the back of that shipping container that's like an eight foot eight and eight foot four inch across right um jeez <laughs> so i had another one that i was thinking of as soon as uh jar posted his in there um when i was playing with the shotgun the first time and i actually made a gif out of it uh, i was playing with the shotgun on alcatraz for the first time and um I had a strategy on Alcatraz where I would like come up the middle of the field instead of going around the flanks or upstairs to try to come up the back staircase as quickly as I could. And I did that with the shotgun, one of the games. 
And the guy, if you understand the layout on Alcatraz, um, once you go through the center shower room, it kind of splits off into two. I mm-hmm. went right and I saw somebody um, coming up the left side the way I was facing. And at that point, I realized he is going to be behind me, but I recognized that it wasn't a regular. So I didn't know that he was going to shoot me right away. So I got into the back hallway, was safe from being shot from behind, and then heard him following. So I turned, leveled the shotgun at the door, and then the second the guy became visible, I one-shot him. And the fact that I was there with the shotgun blasting him with it scared him so much, he lost his footing and fell flat on his ass. Wasn't that recorded? Oh, it's on the video right now. Yeah, it's on the Watch video. the video right now. It could, literally couldn't have better timing. That's, that's amazing. Here it comes. Here it is. And he's <laughs> down. Oh, man, dude. That, by the way, that's on random play. So the fact that that just came up. Thanks. Yo, honestly. Woo! Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. So I think... I think that we have a special for you guys here we have something special now oh my gosh it's a birdie what up can they hear me yeah they can hear you great fantastic perfect birdie what was your funniest moment at iCombat my funniest i for i thought of my most painful first (laughs) which wasn't at all funny (laughs) in the slightest um my funniest moment Oh my god. I don't know. Like the countless amounts of times that I've literally walked into walls always, all the time, it never stops. Um, I don't really know that I've had like a really like hilarious incident that I can think of off the top of my head. Remember when you fell to the ground, saw an opponent, but instead of getting up, you shot the opponent and then got up? Like, Look, you- <laughs> I don't know if that's funny, but like it did happen. Yes, that is true. Just afterwards, because you told it me, and I was, like, me. I was like, that is the best moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Priority is kill the other person. Oh, for sure. For sure. I can't tell you how many times I've slammed straight into people because either one of us was going too quick. And the first reaction is not, are you okay? The first reaction is, yeah, the guy and then 100%. ask if they're okay. Every time. <laughs> then apologize. Every time. I can't tell you how many times I've watched people do that. Like, literally mm. eat shit, run into somebody, <laughs> and the first thing both people do is, like, who can shoot who first, right. and then we'll talk about if everyone's okay. Unless it's, like, really bad, then, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's funny. Have we ever talked about our injuries on this stream? Oh, God. Where do I start? <laughs> I rolled out. my ankle at the garage door. This guy stop. rolling ankles. I rolled my ankle. I, I remember it. my first time I played eye combat. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned in boating school is... Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's do that one next week. Let's talk about some nasty injuries that we've seen and experienced. Uh, next week is injury week. All right. Cool. Yeah. Next week will be injury week for the fun topic. Love that. Go off. That's good. Hey, Birdie, how you doing? I'm good. I just finished the debate. How'd it go? It was fine. It was way better than it was like, actually, it was palatable at the very least. Like you could watch it without wanting to lose your mind. Okay. Oh, kind so of. it was so it was an actual debate. Okay, cool. It was an actual it was an actual debate. Like aside from you know what? That's fine. Uh, yeah, I won't share my opinion. That's good. No, it's good to see that they had discourse. But, That's all we can yeah, for. There was actual conversation. Good. So mm-hmm. there we go. Good, good, good. Well, uh, you're you're slipping in here right at the end of the show, so thank you very much. We appreciate you and love you for showing up. Sure, I did my best. <laughs> um, yeah, Tommy, I agree with you. Mm, it's <laughs> that would make so, so much better. It's infuriating, like it's like because at the end of the day, they're just wasting time. Like once their yeah. time is up, the person who is moderating is literally just thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. Thank yeah. you. Like nobody can hear what you're saying, bro. Just stop talking. <laughs> right. Um, Thermit hates it when a country is perpendicular to him. He can't kill me. Oh wait, what? That's interesting. Thermit, explain huh. yourself. 
perpendicular yeah. to you? I get it. I understand why, but I want to hear his story. This um, is going to be interesting. So we got Among Us coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know why I'm like making so much noise. I gotta like get rid of the verbal t- the verbal ticks when I'm talking because I go back. Well, I go back into the vods and I'm like editing them and putting them up on the stream and I listen to them usually the next day to see like what I could do better. And every time I start a sentence with um, well, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, well. I have made 33 episodes of this shit public speaking now, and I should not still be entering sentences with, mm, uh, you see, it's like. Okay, whatever, you're human. I get it, but it's so unprofessional. Who's being, we're, we host a laser tag podcast. That generates income, which we give back to the community. All right. By the way, you missed our first ever beginning of the show giveaway. It was one by Jar. I thought I heard that. I was like, are they doing that in the beginning of the show? Also, congratulations, Jar. Happy free game. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Write you a card. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably never get it because, well... Dear Slim, <laughs> I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. Oh, no. Oh, wow, Stan, Stan hits different now that the post office sucks. All right, moving on. (laughs) What, Christian, what's in your shirt? Oh, God. Oh, this is the shirt I wore for uh, scare acting uh, at iCombat. Christian's looking a little sus. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Blood splatter (laughs) over his shoulder. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) sorry. I miss scare acting for Halloween at iCombat, dude. Ooh, yeah. uh, Yeah. That was fun. Fun That was fun. Miss getting the shit beat out of you too. Mm-hmm. People, yeah, dude. Oh my god! Now guns. I have another thing for injury uh, week. Uh, there you that go. That reminds me. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. I think we got about we got forty five minutes into this show. Um, I do see your message. Do you guys want to let Country come on and explain his thing with Thermit? Should we let him do that? It's gonna break the stream. Yes. Why don't you just switch I it to the format that we use for when oh, we're like video this, chatting with everybody on stream? Oh, right, 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 right. Let me do that. You're welcome. Uh, well, I can't do that because it like, broke when the when the computer crashed. I lost that scene. Oh shoot! That's all right. We'll just break the stream for a couple seconds. Does Country Classic do that thing where he stands to his side and it's hard to hit him? Probably. Yeah, Country, go ahead. Join the join the channel real quick. Let's let's hear your story. Ooh. Dermot, yeah. join too. We need both sides. Mm. Mm. There's mm. two sides mm. to a story. What the, oh, it only it only broke Birdie. What's up, bud? So, uh, in fact, actually, it's not just Thermit that complained about this. So, okay. when I'm across the field at MI Combat, and um, <laughs> and, and I'm, he's looking to the side of me, he cannot get any of the targets at all. He cannot oh, get any of the, side, the, side yeah, of the sensors. I got gotcha. you. So it's I like gotcha. I'm invisible. So he could be like right next to me. Like half the time he bumps right into the side of me and he cannot kill me. And it it, it, it makes him so mad. Yeah. Well, he's here. So. <laughs> yeah. Super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's he it. Just super annoying. Because of it. He gets I mean, so pissed off of that, that style of play where you shoot over your shoulder is effectively how I play all the time in Chicago. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And I'm a big target. Mm-hmm. I'll admit it. I'm oh, a big yeah. target. I'm a large <laughs> man and I feel small with you. So, yeah. <laughs> the biggest issue is his vest is unbuckled. So he moves it all. The damn oh, thing flaps, so flaps all over the place. Yeah. Just aim for the head. I agree, Jar. You got a gun and you got a head to aim for. That's why I don't aim for the vest. You just aim for the headshots, man. Headshots and gunshots. You were practicing for center mass, though. Like like Killswitch said, just shoot better. Well. (laughs) Well. I mean, when you have have three sensors spread out over, what, like an 18-inch circle? Or you can have four sensors in, like, a two-inch circle. I'm going for the four sensors in two inches. It's two inches is a gross over exaggeration, but yeah, it's New just idea. hilarious. It's just hilarious that randoms will say that I'm hacking because oh they yeah, I, it happens me. to me all the time. 
<laughs> I, I, I feel like, for you. Can you hack? Can you hack? This? Right. Okay. It's always the little kids the too. It's always the little kids. They're like, I can't hit you. I'm like, shoot better. I'm not doing anything different. <laughs> wow. <laughs> then we complain about the smaller gross. kids though too. Then we complain like, about the smaller kids that you cannot literally hit them halfway through the field. <laughs> that is true. They just sneak up on you from across the wall. You're like, where the fuck did you come from? Come around a corner and you just died and you just, oh, hey, it's a kid. Right. I mean, but at the end of the day, Thermo uses his thermal camera, so whatever. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, like, watching him use it is Fucking so funny. Cheater. Not gonna lie, it was pretty cool. I saw you go for it when we were doing the, uh, when we were doing the Blackhawk Down the one time, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be pretty cool. And he, like, he holds it out like this. Well, you can't see me in the camera. He holds it like this around the corner, and I'm yeah. like, damn, that's a bright-ass body. Alright, there's one in there. Jesus. <laughs> and that was me trying to be overt with it. If I really yeah. wanted to get it really concealed, I could just barely tuck it around the corner. Yeah, it's like me tucking my head around a corner really quick because nobody ever wants to check corners before they go around stuff, it feels like. Everyone just goes guns blazing, and I'm just like, all right, it's safe. Because <laughs> let's be honest, how many people have a reaction time to shoot you if you just poke your head around a corner really quick? Maybe not in Chicago, but you see, we all have right. this wonderful thing called Michigan. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but you guys also never stop mm -hmm. shooting, so... Just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. We love you guys. Well, gotcha. All right. Now get out of my chair. Trigger. We got a podcast to finish. Get out of here. Pray guard. I love you guys. Trigger. All right. The Michigan invasion is over. The Michigan invasion. All right. I think that's probably a good spot to leave this uh, Leave this podcast today. Uh, there's Milo. Yeah. We got a Milo butt walking around now. Um, As we should. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Birdie, since you were the last one here, I'll let you go first. Uh, what do you got coming up this week? Anything to look out for? How's your life going? Hello, I am in college. I send help. Oh. Kidding. It's not that bad. I'm actually doing fine. <laughs> um, uh, I don't... Okay, wait. What do I have going on this weekend? I work at the Pole Studio. On Monday, I have practice for a showcase that I'm in for my studio, Really excited. Talked about this already. First time performing. Can't wait. Should be tons of fun. Wait, when is that? Uh, it's the 30th. 30th. Okay. Yeah, it's like an online thing. So it's like people have to pay to watch the Zoom type of situation. Would you like to advertise that next week? <laughs> I guess I could, though, because, I mean, if y'all want to give money to my studio, that'd be lit. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Support each other. I'm I'm a lie though. Actually, it's actually going to um, raising awareness for breast cancer and like I think a specific foundation. I don't remember the name of it. It better not be Susan G. Komen. I don't remember if it is or not. It's like one of the popular <laughs> ones, so there's a good chance that it is. But um, anyway, so all of the proceeds will be going towards breast cancer. So there's that. Um, if you guys really want, to watch, sure. I mean, why wouldn't? Yeah, you? we'll we'll talk about advertising opportunities next week. We'll go over the pricing for it. Sure. Um. Anyway, uh, that's like pretty much the most exciting thing going on in my life right now. I mean, cool. Yeah. Don't All right. Much going. On. Christian, what's your week looking like? Looking looking my like week looking like I. Would it be still have this full time job that I always complain about, but I'm grateful for Good. because of all this money. You and everybody but, else got yeah. a week. job right now. This Saturday is my girlfriend's birthday, so the whole Saturday I'm gonna be trying to Carol. make the day good. Um, <laughs> me man, me make day good. Yeah, I I make day good. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm gonna try. That was or... really fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all day. <laughs> Probably. That reminded me of those TikToks that's that that like are the women who are making fun of men who like can't comprehend that women are thinking functioning human beings. It's great. That was great. Can you <laughs> all right? I did a funny. Let's go. Cool. Anything else? No, nah, not really. Just working. Nah. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Cool. All right. My turn. I've got some quick announcements to make. 
Uh, we have about two weeks in our D&D campaign uh, that we are currently playing in. I am going to take a week off in between when we end before we start the new one. So, I still have character sheets I need from people. Uh, Thermit, also, we need to... No, 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 no. It starts, it starts in about three weeks, Jar. Don't worry. I wouldn't leave you behind. <laughs> your character's already made. By the way, I do need to talk to you about your character. Um, I got to talk to you. Ooh, you're in trouble. And I got to talk to Thermit because I got to figure out what your time frame is for when you're actually leaving and aren't going to be able to play anymore. Um, I still want you to play, but I want to make sure that like any role I make for you, it's not going to be super long term since you're like going off to serve or something. Um just kidding. But you are. Um, all the other people, I know you're out there. Get your characters submitted. I think uh, Birdie's flirting with playing a cleric. I'm going to be a DM. Um, we got a barbarian and another barbarian, it sounds like. A rogue, possibly. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh, da -da -da, we're looking to play Tuesdays. About 7 p.m. Central to 10 p.m. Central for certain. We'll go longer if people want to keep playing more. So, um, that's that. Yeah. Sign up for the tournament. That's super important. We need 30-ish more people to do that. Hopefully, tourney, hopefully tourney, we can run tourney. it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully stuff is back open again. Um, God, that's going to shit. Yeah, for whatever. Her. We'll talk about that another day. Also, everybody be safe. Make safe decisions yeah. for yourself. For anyone uh, who doesn't know, Wisconsin is closing again until November 10th. It would be irresponsible for us to not six, address that. The sixth. sixth. Um, so just like, make sure that you're not like pressuring yourself to do anything that's going to put you or somebody else in harm's way. Yeah. Uh, it's a weird it's order uh, jar. They're closing indoor, non indoor, purely public activities. So, like, basically walk-in stuff. So, I believe that the reservation system at iCombat means that they'll get around that closure. Um, but I don't know for certain. Uh, I know it mostly is hitting the restaurants and the bars again because um, <laughs> all the schools are back in Wisconsin right now and kids are fucking up the COVID counts all over the place. Yeah, again, like, just be safe because, like, this, this isn't over, clearly. And, um... <laughs> I'm not. Gonna yeah. Make it. Uh, that being said, if you do, if you are friends with me on Facebook, you'll see that I post updates that I get from the state of Illinois uh, when I get them because I am part of their um, distributor organization that exists in the state. So I get news a little bit before the public does. Uh, Illinois and Chicago, in particular, is now open up to one uh, one a.m. bars. So if you want to go to a bar, you can now stay out until 1 a.m. Um, but please continue to be safe because if we continue on the trend of increasing cases, I'm sure they're going to scale it back again as well. Um, they've already done it for some of the bordering states with Wisconsin and Iowa because they're having issues. Uh, in St. Louis, those three sections of the state are um, on restricted phase four, which is they just have tighter curfew rules and whatnot, but um, we're getting closer and we're not really just be good. Got to get through this until something fixes. Yeah. Michigan's super weird now because yeah, their Supreme court is saying you don't have to wear masks, but private companies can still require it. So um, just make sure you're being personally responsible for your self, your health and the safety and health of people around you. Um, that's really all you can ask for, and some people just don't get it still. So that is it for that. Um, we're going to play Among Us tonight. Uh, I don't know if Birdie's going to be joining us, but I know that I'm playing, and so is Reiner. Uh, you're playing, right, Christian? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so if you want to go uh, get into the uh, voice chat, I'm going to kill the stream in a couple minutes here, and then we're going to go start that up. We'll play for about an hour and a half or so. Uh, we're going to play some fun game modes today, so we'll do some of the hide-and-seek in that. Uh, we will go back to the original map, the one that everyone knows, because I think it's a little bit more fun when we all know the map. So, um, any last words from any of the co-hosts? Put your masks on. Mm -hmm. Good, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just be safe, guys. That's yeah. 
Be right. safe. Be safe and we love you. Yep, we love you all. Thank you always for subscribing. You guys are the reason that we can give out these giveaways. We've done two weeks in a row. Will it be three next week? Maybe it'll be in the pre-show. Stay tuned to find out. Ooh, what if it's in the pre-show? Oh, yeah. A pre-show giveaway? Time. Hello there. Is it the team? Hey, Tommy. Thank you Tommy. for the sub. We appreciate Thanks, it, buddy. Man. Thanks, Tommy. I was like, why is Obi-Wan Kenobi saying hello there to me right now? I don't understand. And I look over and Tommy's giving us a sub. So thank you, sir. Um, we appreciate it. A random soundbite meme. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Dude, oh, I don't have my chat open. Oh, my God. On my fucking shoulder. He, is he redeemed weird. two, Brats. He redeemed two. He, he did two? Okay. Yep. Here's your first one. It hurts. Ooh, it's a hallelujah chorus. Birdie, so scandalous. Stop, you're gonna get us demonetized. Sorry, my bruise hurts, bro. Them shoulder rolls ain't kind. And our second meme. That was the uh, that was the uh, GameCube intro music. Yep. I really wish I could get it so you guys could hear it. Maybe I'll have it play through your guys' audio too. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right. Thank you guys for everything that you do for us. Oh, Sean did one earlier in the show. Oh, that was the second one you said, right? Yep. Gotcha. We'll give him one for free. Woo! Our familiar faces. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, right. no, no. All right, we're done here, guys. Uh, thank you for coming out. We will be back in one week at 8.30 for the pre-show, 9 o'clock for the regular show. This is the Gear Swap Podcast. This was episode 33 uh giveaways immediately i believe is the title of this one so hey be here for the pre-show next week that's all i can say pre-show man be here for the pre-show birdie are you gonna be here for the pre-show yeah sorry i was looking at the videos of shantytown and hating my life oh sorry i did add new videos to the queue this week uh oh, one last last thing uh during the week i am going to set up a dropbox on uh, google so if anybody has video they want to add to the the random role uh, go ahead and I'll give you a link to do downloads or uploads and then you can upload it there. I'll edit it down and put it in the video. That is it. If you want to play Among Us tonight, go to the Discord. We're going to get started right away. I got a Milo button in front of me. Um, if your gear is fucked up, get a gear swap. You deserve it. You pay too much to play with broken gear. We love you guys. We'll see you in seven days. Milo is just a cuddle bug. He almost just fell off the table. I don't know what else to say. We love you all. This is the end of the recording. Have Ow. a great night, and we'll see you in seven days, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Halo, -bye. Bye. Hey, get off there. You can't lay on my keyboard. <laughs>